All right, guys, so before we get started on this video, let's visit our buddy at the jewelry store to see if we can give him a hard time. Black, the black, didn't you already do all black? Let me see it. Yeah, that's the, um... That's a nice one. Can yeah, that's a ceramic noted. I forgot about that one. With astronauts, it's Omega. Michael Schumacher. Oh, wow. His watch was Omega. Nice. Coin flip. Okay. <laughs> Coin flip. <laughs> Wait, hey, don't do the 12.5 or 13.5? 13. 5. 13. 5 or 13. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's either 12.5 or 13.5. Let's see the coin first, though. Okay. It's an original 1920. Gold. And if I win, the Two. coins come with it. Okay. Right. I'll give you the coin. Gold. Wait, but hey, let me five. feel it. Might be weighted. Oh, gold watch. All right. It's a real new heads. Heads? Yeah. You flip it. Throw it on. Flip it. I want heads. You want heads? I do tails. It's all right. I'll do tails. All right. Uh, heads it is. It's like wearing pajamas. Yes, let's go. <laughs> two for two. Two for two. Oh, we keep this now, yeah, go right? Guys, we just spent a lot of money on a Rolex right here, but check this beauty out. Real 18 karat gold, all original, beautiful watch. Honestly, this is my favorite. If I was to buy one and wear one, it would be this piece right here. But you know what? This is what makes this giveaway so much more funner is doing stuff like this. We're throwing this into a random order placed in the next 48 hours. It's going to be insane. And not only that, man, you're getting entered into the TRX plus $25,000 cash. This is just a win-win. So be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. Check out all the official rules. And you might be the one. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad garage, and we're going to get back to work on this Mercedes AMG GTS. This thing is going to be an absolute animal, especially when it's finished up. We already test drove it. It rips, but you know what? We want it to look pretty and look epic. And the main thing that's holding us up right now is this area right here, this quarter panel. No matter what we tried, it's just so difficult to get everything to fit up properly. So we went ahead and purchased a parts quarter panel, but there's a crazy thing about this right here. So this is actually from an AMG GTR, and that's a GTS. And there's a slight difference between the quarter panels. It's just a little bit wider, if you can't tell right there. It's just probably about, I'd say an inch wider. And we really bought this just for one piece, and that's this tail light bucket right here. And you can't order that from the dealership unless you buy the whole quarter panel, which the quarter panel is $7,000. So we decided to spend $1,200 on this whole entire thing right here. And we're gonna attempt to actually pop it off of here, pop it under there, and hopefully we can get stuff fitting up better and pretty much not have to spend $7,000. That's the goal, but if it comes down to it, we're gonna have to bite the bullet and we're gonna have to buy a brand new quarter panel from the dealership. So I guess right now, let's probably dig into that part right there or where, you, where are we digging first, here hey, or there? Hey, let's dig there right there. Let's dig into that GTR right there and let's hopefully find out we don't gotta spend too much money. Alrighty guys, so check out this rear end. It is looking absolutely insane. We were finally able to get some stuff to line up in the back after we took the GTR tail light bucket and we put it into this GTS right here and things are just lining up just 
perfectly right there. And now we're able to move on to the next step, which is gonna be to get those parts in for good on the structural side of things. We just gotta take this stuff apart and then we're gonna get our panel bond, we're gonna get our rivets, and also we're gonna probably weld in a few little sections here and there. But for the most part, I am super happy we got this knocked out because this is the only thing that was really holding us up from finishing this project up. So I guess that's what we're gonna move on to next, right? Oh yeah. Popping stuff off again. Dude, dude. I'm so glad we were able to get it straight. I mean, now the bumper actually fits way dude. better. I mean, look at that, man. That looks super sick. Quarter panel looks a lot better. Definitely gonna need some body work right there once everything's said and yep. done. And that's it, dude. That's all of our body work right there. So I say we go ahead, knock out this structural stuff, and then I think we'll move on to body work. so it's the next day here and we are finally done with all the framework on this car i mean look at that right there it's all dry it's ready to go we use the structural panel bond we use the oem rivets and everything this thing is solid it's not going anywhere and it looks great we were able to save about six thousand dollars right there dude, dude i'm happy about that right there dude because i just never could see paying seven thousand dollars for a quarter panel i mean we got like, close we got close but that's like supercar parts you yeah, know what i mean super that's actually more than supercar parts because i mean we bought like two quarter panels for that much for a lamborghini exactly, that dude. is crazy but all it took was this tail light bucket right here and that's it i mean it's better spending 1500 bucks on that piece right there so we're gonna scrap the rest of that quarter panel wherever it's at exactly we don't need it, it. was even less than 1500 bucks oh, yeah. 1200 bucks dude that's cheap right there but you know what look at it now man it's nice and done we are ready for some body work and we are ready to start getting this thing ready for the rest of the stuff exactly you know? and i think the first thing that we're gonna do is apply some seam sealer yep. probably in this wheel well area and then we can uh, do a little bit of primer and get it pretty. Dude. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do seam sealer in there and probably seam sealer in here. And then we wanna go ahead and put all of our wiring back together, route everything back in, and probably throw on our exhaust and all the heat shields over here. That way we can have this thing on the tires. That way we can drive it around finally. Yes, sir, dude. I'm, I'm excited to fire this thing back up, dude, and spit some flames, dude. dude. sick, man. So let's just go ahead, uh, throw some seam sealer, throw some primer, wire everything back up, and see if it'll fire up.
So the car starts, which is absolutely amazing because after you pull apart a bunch of wires and fuse boxes and all that good stuff like we did back here, it's kind of scary putting everything back together, but we did it right and everything looks good. It runs and sounds amazing. We threw that exhaust back on. We buttoned everything up. All the wiring is where it needs to go. And look at that, man. It looks so good back here. It looks like nothing's ever even happened except for a little bit of body work that we're going to start pretty much doing here in a little bit because that's the very next step is to go ahead and paint prep the entire car because we're changing the color on this thing and we're going with that green we're going to try to paint that green with that satin clear coat and all that good stuff it's going to be epic first time painting uh satin it's going to be tricky but i think we got it so that's exactly what we're going to move on to right after we test fit some wheels so we just bought brand new wheels well they're used off of ebay and we want to test fit the fitment and that way we can see what size tires we need to order because we want a nice stance on this car so might as well go ahead and do that now that way we can order tires and once this thing's painted it's going to look right so let's go ahead and actually bring out our wheels throw the wheels on here, measure everything up, see if everything fits right, and then we'll move on to body work. guys check out these wheels the front and back have been mocked up bolted down and we sat the car down as far as it's actually gonna sit and we get already figured out the tire size and also we measured the gappage and stuff like that so the tire will probably sit about right here and we're gonna have probably like three fingers so we're definitely gonna order lowering springs that way we can get that perfect just a nice like flush fitment it's gonna look absolutely incredible but the wheels man we can't forget Ooh. about these look at these beautiful gunmetal rip forged wheels these things look absolutely amazing i mean they're beautiful honestly don't even want to change the color of the car because look at the contrast dude, dude that looks perfect that man. actually would look really good these wheels excuse the voice by the way i don't know what happened i just i didn't have my morning tea oh that's so, but that's, we might leave it this color dude, what do you I'm think dude? You, man that looks super good i mean this is a beautiful color it's just halfway painted right now because there's just all sorts of new parts going on well honestly before we even do anything like sand the entire car or something crazy like that we want to actually test out the satin clear coat that we want to paint so we're probably going to go ahead and jump to a paint store here soon and buy the paint and buy the clear coat because satin i heard is a very hard uh, clear coat to paint and it's very uh, it's expensive and it's very difficult i think you have to especially lay it down and if you don't do it right it can make blotchiness areas like glossy areas and satin areas and we don't want that so we're gonna probably pull one of those fenders off the wall over there sand it down probably throw it in the paint booth and give it a shot we're gonna paint that that green color paint it that satin clear coat and if it comes out good we're gonna spray the whole car All right, guys, so we finally got both of our paints here. We got the original paint, the Selenite Gray, and we got the original AMG, what is this called? The Hell Magno Green paint. So this is gonna resemble that wrap, but this is actually a AMG paint, which is amazing paint, but I think this is gonna end up being the most difficult paint job ever on the planet of paint jobs because 
the semi-gloss or matte gloss clear coat apparently is like one of the hardest clear coats to ever lay down and we've watched bunches of videos. I mean, I did some research, I watched videos and they actually call for a PPG matte clear but it's just super difficult to find we called local paint companies we called all around honestly america and try to get some of this stuff it's really difficult so we ended up going with some sickens low gloss that we got three different type of uh, combinations that we're going to have to put together in order to achieve that matte clear which it's a lot to take in that's why not a lot of people do these matte clear coats and it's super difficult so we're going to test it out we got one fender in there that we're going to paint green we're going to mix this clear coat up and see how it lays down if it's a, too much of a headache and it just becomes a massive hassle we're just going to paint it the original color and be done with it i mean this original color looks absolutely just beautiful as well look at that color change dude, in there man that's actually growing on me dude the more that i see that dude i think that would that might be like a really good option because it'll be, be it. faster too to get yeah. it finished you it'll know? be faster to get it finished and we'll have a nice sick looking car because we're gonna use the gtr kit instead of using that other kit that we purchased because the gtr kit kind of like had cracks in it we said screw it let's fix their original gtr and use that fiberglass carbon fiber body kit because it's gonna look way better you know what i mean yes sir dude i think that's gonna be the way to go and we are ready to spray everything is taped up yep dude let's spray this green and let's spray some matte down dude let's do it So we totally messed up, just a rookie mistake. We did not shake these cans up because we're usually used to cans already be shooken up for us at the paint store, but these were sitting on the shelf so long because nobody does this that they were just, uh, it's basically like a cake at the bottom of this, just a cake patty, super thick, but we threw it on the shaker and we got them shooken up. Hopefully we didn't mess them up because we poured basically whatever was floating at the top end and that's why it's clear. So we're gonna go ahead and mix these two together once again do the whole entire concoction, spray another coat down and see if we get a matte finish. This right here looks much better after mixing the clear coat properly. We finally got that matte finish and that actually looks super good. I mean, look at that sheen, man. Along with that high gloss carbon fiber, that looks actually really sick. You know what I mean? Yes, sir, dude. I would talk more, but I just can't talk no more. So no I'll let talking, you take it no away. No talking, I'll take it away. This actually, it looks good, but my two cents is it's very difficult to lay down. And on top of that, if there's trash, like there is some trash here and there throughout this entire panel, you cannot buff it out. You can't buff it, you can't perfect this paint because once you spray this clear, that's it. You can't touch it up or anything like that because it's actually, if you buff this, it'll actually turn high gloss and you don't want that. But honestly, it looks good. It's a whole ton of work to get this type of finish right here. I can see why some of these people just don't want to fool. Like some body shops don't even want to fool painting this color, but 
I mean, it does look good at the end of the day, but honestly, guys, you're gonna just have to leave the comments down below. We're gonna read all the comments, and then I guess next video, you'll see what we end up choosing. But guys, that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video, but I'm not gonna lie. This green color does look good with that matte finish right there, but also that gray silver color is gonna look super good as well especially once it's all painted with those wheels. But the only thing we got left is to pretty much sand all the aftermarket parts, do a little bit of body work here and there, and that quarter panel, as you guys know, then this thing's gonna be completely ready for some paint. So whatever color we end up painting, it's gonna look absolutely insane. We just cannot wait to finish this car up. So with that being said, be sure to drop all your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.